I've not seen such bravery. This April is a busy month for me, but I still wanted to get content out to you guys. So when it came to choosing the game for today's video, I wanted to pick something that I was familiar with. So what's the opposite of nostalgia? Is it regret, mental scarring? I don't know if there is a term, but whatever it is, that's what I have with this next game. I bought Sim Coaster when I was younger and I absolutely hated it. Just wanted to let you know that I already have some bad blood with this game, so if it sounds like I'm being overly unfair or nitpicky, I probably am. So with that out of the way, let's get ready for a particularly complainy episode of Brutal Moose. Let's get started. The first computer my parents ever let me have in my room was a hand-me-down e-machines PC. In terms of gaming, it couldn't handle much, but lucky for me, it was able to run one of the greatest games ever made. Roller Coaster Tycoon is simply an amazing game. I played it so much on my first computer, in fact it's the only game I can remember playing on it. So imagine my excitement when I came across a game that not only lets you build your own theme park, but lets you ride your roller coasters as well. Sim Coaster, known as Theme Theme Park Inc. and Theme Park Manager outside of the US was released in 2001 to generally positive reviews. It's the third and final installment in the Theme Park games, all of which were developed by Bullfrog Productions. But why do I have all these negative feelings toward this game? I was so into Roller Coaster Tycoon at the time, I was ready to love another game about building a theme park. You know, my memory is a bit foggy here, so let's just boot it up and see. Oh yeah, it's ugly and terrifying. The game begins in a boardroom as the president of Sim Coaster tells us about his ambitious theme park idea. Three unique zones, the biggest, best, and most profitable theme park ever. A far-reaching dream, but a splendid one, wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, totally. Hey, let's all go hang out in the freezing temperatures of Ice World, and then we can hop on over to Garbage Land. I hear that they actually built the whole park on top of a pile of trash. Then, to close out our fantastic day, we could go hang out at Dirt. The first area we're assigned to is the Land of Invention, which is really a terrible thing to name your theme park if you're unable to invent a better sign than this. And just look Looks like they didn't even try. Our first goal is an ambitious one. We have to get 40 people in the park at once. And I'm sure that's what all great theme parks aim for on opening day. Man, if we could just get 40 people to show up, we're gonna be rich. All right, here we are. Let's zoom in so we can hear all of the nice sounds of our lovely new theme park. Oh well, that's pleasant. It sounds like something you might play outside of a store to keep rowdy teens from loitering out front. You know, perfect for an amusement park. All right, time to get to work. Let's just start out simple and build a fries shop. Move the blueprint to the required position. Rotate it with the less than and greater than keys. Oh my god, I forgot about this. This blue exclamation point bug Rayman thing is the clippy of Sim Coaster. Anytime anything happens, anytime you want to do anything, and often just at times where nothing is going on, blue excla bug man thing pops up with something to say. And you know, I get it. Simulation games have a lot going on that newcomers need explained. Every now and again, she delivers information that I do need to know. What I don't get is why you would choose this as your explanation method. I can think of a million better character ideas than whatever this thing is. A few off the top of my head. A cartoon Ferris wheel, a roller coaster engineer, a paper clip, a dead fish with a hat on, really anything but this. So I start building. Unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon, whose first level is a blank slate for you to create anything you want, everything in the land of invention is themed to be this steampunk gold crap, it's terrible. And even if we just close our eyes and listen for a moment, which sounds better, this? Or this? You should build paths. Oh my so god, she's back. Just park. get out of here. To Give me the so, fish. The all right, all right. Let's take a break from complaining for a bit and talk about something that actually isn't terrible. The coaster building in Sim Coaster is incredibly simple. It actually reminds me of what the new Roller Coaster Tycoon game is trying to do. First, build out the shape of your track. Any old shape will do, and the ground even lights up to let you know where it's okay to place supports. Then you adjust the height of the supports, and the rest of the track adapts to make it rideable. You can add loops and banks 
easily, it actually functions pretty well, but it's not without its letdowns. As far as I can tell, there's no way for a roller coaster to crash. The track automatically adds the necessary chain lifts to make sure that the riders will make it all the way around every time. While the guarantee of no crashing would be great in a real life situation, it makes for quite the boring game mechanic. The game even puts chain lifts all the way around loops sometimes, like that's pretty ridiculous. But now that we've built a roller coaster, we can try out the feature that was really the main draw for me back in the day. We're gonna ride a roller coaster. It starts out pretty great. I mean, the view of our park isn't beautiful or anything, but the first drop is pretty exciting. Then comes the chain link loop. I mean, I just don't understand why it's there. It seems like we had plenty of momentum to go all the way around. And who wouldn't want to listen to the sound of steam and heavy machinery while riding a roller coaster? It really completes the experience. <laughs> Even more confusing though is this background music. I just don't understand. It sounds like music you might hear in a silent film about someone doing something mischievous, but really lame. Did you know you can rotate the view? And then top it all off with this blue bug lady. I mean, she won't even leave me alone when I'm trying to relax and ride rides. I hate to say it, but the ride the roller coaster feature is already unappealing. It only took me one ride before I realized that the main thing I was drawn to about this game is completely ruined by the rest of the game. Everything is just so gold. Why is everything gold? I'm really not a fan of gold colored things. Like maybe if it's used in moderation, but the only colors in this park are red, gold, and green. It's like a Christmas wreath exploded all over the place. In an attempt to liven the place up a bit, I built a log flume, but somehow it's just as depressing. The logs go around the track even if nobody is inside, and it looks more like a shipping conveyor belt than anything else. Not to mention the two rides can apparently go right through each other, so that's cool. I feel like a broken record. Pretty much everything else I have to talk about just refers to how ugly this game looks to me. I just can't get past it. If you're watching and you think everything looks fine, I must sound like a crazy person. These character models though, and when they're on rides, they're just floating heads. And hey kids, you like bouncy houses? Why not visit the land of invention and jump on the world's most impractical, unsafe, and eyesore of a bounce house? If you hurt yourself, don't worry, our entertainers will help cheer you up. Because who doesn't love being chased down by a guy with a light bulb on his head? He also dances. At least I think that's what's happening here. Even if you want to spruce up the park a bit with decorations, it's going to be just as ugly. Let's plant a tree. I mean, you can't possibly mess up planting a tree, right? Oh well, look at that. It's metal and horrible. And check out this scenic metal bush. It's designed to make guests feel happy and healthy but be sure to hire a gardener to water it, I guess? And you know, nothing says eye-pleasing scenery quite like a vent pipe. And instead of garbage cans, you have like a garbage disposal? They found a way to make trash uglier. It's ridiculous. <sighs> this is about as far as I got for this video. I usually like to play more of a game before talking about it. I just couldn't take this one anymore. It's not even that it's a bad game. I mean, it works well enough. It's a little light on the management side of things, but for someone who just wants to build a theme park without managing all the small details, I can see the appeal. It's just so ugly. and I I really don't see any reason for me to choose it over Roller Coaster Tycoon. I happen to like managing all of the small details that Sim Coaster leaves out. IGN reviewed the game in 2001 and said, If you're hoping for the detail-oriented world of Roller Coaster Tycoon's paint customizing schemes, park customer feedback, and realistic physics, you're not going to get it. But what you lose in realism, you'll gain in charm and fun. So maybe I'm crazy. Maybe what I perceive as ugly, terrible, headache-inducing, Using ugly, ugly visuals is actually charming. Have I said ugly enough times in this video? The last thing I did was build a laboratory and hire a scientist to research ways to improve the park. He ended up with a plan to drain the lake called Operation Plug Hole. So, uh, yeah, not even gonna touch that one. 
Yeah, so I'm done. I know I didn't get very far in the game, and I mainly focused on appearance instead of mechanics, and that's not really fair. But I shared my personal feelings on the game, and that's what's important to me. If you happen to have some fonder memories of SimCoaster, please feel free to share them in the comments section to kind of brighten the mood a little bit. And don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Yeah, thanks. It looks like you're trying to subscribe. To subscribe, take your mouse and position the cursor over the annotation that says click here to subscribe. Remember, by subscribing you will get notifications on when this user uploads videos.